These are definitely, I love these. So pretty, I can't wait for spring. I was just too lazy to go and put it away this aftermath. This is not worth it. Anybody, but you chose me some. Hope for the best. Wish me luck. Very dear to my heart, and I hate that it's just packed away right now. Like crazy, knowing you're here by my side. and I want to declutter all the things but I don't want to be a minimalist that is the last thing on my mind and I can't I can't part with it how it goes when you find your son's third birthday card he's 12 hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of slowly simplifying my spaces Sorry for the loud noise but I'm down in my basement and the furnace room is actually just in front of me and the furnace has kicked on with heat which is lovely because it is a little chilly down here but hopefully it will warm up soon but I am tackling my basement this is going to be a multi-part like series just within this series because there's so much in this basement this area is kind of the space where everything comes down and when you don't know where to put it upstairs it comes down to the basement and I really want to be more intentional with this space because it is square footage in our home that we could be using. Um, I do come down here all the time because our laundry room is down here. We have a movie room on the other side that we use as well, but this hallway part is kind of just a hot mess. So we're going to uh, tackle part of the hallway right now and I have a short amount of time so I don't know if the whole thing is going to get done today or if I'll be picking it up tomorrow as well. It's already nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. I worked this morning, came home, had lunch, and decided that I needed to tackle this because this video is actually going to be posted next Monday because I'm out of pre-filmed uh, slowly simplifying your space videos. So time to get back at it luckily a March break is next week we have a week off school so I'm hoping to tackle the rest of this basement next week so I can have those videos posted while I'm chatting with you right now before we jump into the decluttering simplifying and minimizing I need to ask you all a question starting in April I'll be doing VEDA which I do I've done for the past two years and I really enjoy vlogging every day and sharing it with you but do you still want to see these scheduled uh, slowly simplifying my space videos every Monday at 3 or do you just want little snippets of my like day simplifying and e things that I do around the house incorporate it more vlog style let me know down in the comments what you want to see because I can continue to have the slowly simplifying your space videos on Monday as well as my tiny tidies on Tuesday and then vlogs could be Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so just let me know what you want to see and let's jump into it. Let's tackle part of this basement for another episode of Slowly Simplifying Your Spaces. Now I thought long and hard about what area I want to tackle first and I've decided that I'm going to get this shelving unit. <laughs> it's hard to see. I'll move back into this room. Um, this unit I'm going to go through and declutter so I have a space to put what I want to keep on it. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to tackle today. If I have time, I'll tackle this pile of boxes and miscellaneous. But for now, let's get to tackling these cube units. <clears throat> I don't, ooh, don't really know how I'm going to do this. I guess I'll just kind of take what I'm going to donate and place the side. I wish I had a box or, oh, there's a bag over there. Maybe I'll get that. Okay, bag. We're going to fill this up with donations and then when I figure out like things I want to keep, hopefully I'll have a clear shelf and I'll just start putting them on, keeping them on the shelves. Let's do this. These are definitely a keep. I love these. So pretty. I can't wait for spring. Hey, darling. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's 
get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look I have a bunch of this Christmas stuff that I really should put in the Christmas bin This was from our bedroom Take my hand bin in our storage room next to me so that's what I really have to be doing right now is taking these things and putting them where they belong and stop being so lazy and just shoving it on a shelf because this aftermath this is not worth it um, these are all things that I use so I need to make room in the bins for them otherwise I just need to let them go so for example this whole cabinet is spring and summer decor, as well as up here, we have fall decor, summer, um, it's not decor, but summer outside. This could actually go upstairs to our dining room. This is summer decor. This is summer decor. And I have a bunch of faux flowers there, which is spring, summer decor. So these all need to go into their proper homes, which is in here. So this is my fall bin. Hopefully I have room in there. This is my Easter. I don't know if I have a spring bin that I could just put for spring. Because I believe that one is Halloween. This one is fall. This one is Easter slash spring. But I don't need to bring out my Easter stuff until Easter. <laughs> That's Christmas. This one's Christmas. And this one's Christmas. And this one's Christmas. This one is randomness. I think there's some, yeah, this was Valentine's Day. Which I don't need a whole bin for that. Maybe what I can do is take out the Valentine's Day stuff and put the spring in there. I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll let you know what I decide. A couple hours from Japan Would you stay awake? I'm losing touch of who I am When you're far away And I feel like I'm running in circles around you I'm right. 
son's third birthday card. He's 12. <laughs> I'm not overthinking feelings. I just need you to know that I don't want you close. Ooh, ooh, closer than before. Ah, ah, closer than before. Ah, ah. this is where I am right now. It's just about three o'clock in the afternoon. So I've been at this about an hour and this is what it's looking like. My battery is close to dying, but I'm getting quite a bit done. I'm going to try to get a little bit more before I go and chat in the comments on my premiere for my tiny tidy Tuesdays. But we have a bag of trash and a bag of donations along with this picture. And this basket is donations as well. I haven't gone through that bin back there. Um, it is dress up clothes. I want Maddie to help me. That's our outdoor projector. We'll keep that there. That's an empty bin. That can stay. Struggling with my Nancy Drew books because I love them. I like absolutely love them. So I want to display them in a prominent space. I would hope one day to have beautiful built-ins upstairs where I could display my Nancy Drew, display my Babysitter's Club, another series near and dear to my heart. And I hate that it's just packed away right now. Um, but I'm going to keep these here for the time being. Along with, I have these hard board, hard collection, Franklin, Curious George, A Little House, like Little House on the Prairie and this Beatrix Potter. And I want to keep these. And as silly as it may sound, I want to keep them for my grandbabies one day. Um, I, I love Franklin. I love Curious George. And I absolutely love Little House. And the fact that these are beautiful hardcover books, I want to display them. I want to keep them. And um, this whole journey of simplifying doesn't mean I have to get rid of everything. I don't want to be a minimalist. Yes, I want to minimize. I want to simplify and I want to declutter all the things, but I don't want to be a minimalist. That is the last thing on my mind. I still want to keep everything that I love and be way more intentional on the things I bring into the home. So with that being said as well, we have another set of books that I've collect it and I can like things the kids made which these can go I'll get rid of these in a minute but little house books we have like a good collection of the Laura Ingalls Wilder stories and I want to keep them I love them um and I don't plan on getting rid of them because I've collected them and I got them all thrifting so they're definitely a keeper I'm going to continue. I don't know how much battery is left. So if I don't see you again to say goodbye, I will be picking this up tomorrow 
and we'll be continuing this declutter and the simplifying of just this cat like this storage shelf in the hallway of the basement we still have a long way to go here friends like another day a different outfit same loud furnace but we're back in the basement and we're going to finish tackling this hallway exactly how i left it yesterday hoping to tackle this area as well i have another small time frame this is what we left yesterday the shelf is looking pretty good close to empty the end of the hallway is a whole other story got a bag of donations bag of trash and we're gonna tackle it we're gonna finish it and get this area nice and decluttered and simplified so we can tackle more of the basement next week we have a whole week off um and i'm hoping to completely finish this basement which will be definitely broken into different episodes because there's a lot so let's get to it i have an hour let's see how much i can get done on this hour during this day and for reference it's wednesday <laughs> I've been in your waters Been knocking at your door I know one thing for sure I've never been so close before because I have like baskets and bins of random things that all have homes and places to live but are never put back where they belong. It's bad when you find Christmas gifts from three years ago. I think I bought these in 2018. Wow. Anyway, I don't think, I don't even know if Connor likes Minecraft anymore. Maddie definitely still likes Disney so we can save this one. I've never really cried on here, but, and I don't want to show it, but I just found a picture of my mother-in-law. Oh, I miss her so much. Any memories? And as silly as this may sound, this is their address when they used to go down to Florida and I can't I can't pair with it it's her handwriting yeah. so special I really have to start like putting together some kind of album or memory box or something that I can look at these and remember the good times. Okay, let's get back to decluttering. And on another sentimental note, as I, you know, wipe my tears, <laughs> um, this clock was my husband's when he was little and we helped teach the kids how to tell time on this. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I love it. He, I, I know he won't wanna get rid of it cause it was his and, um, Telling time never goes out of fashion. You always have to know how to, you always have to learn how to tell time. So one day maybe my little grandbabies will learn how to tell time. I mean, I better have 
many years before I am a Nana, but I'm gonna hold on to it. And for things like this, I like to display them. Um, I'll show you what I have done in the hallway with some artwork that I could have got rid of, but I did this a while ago and I really like it. Okay, so this is what this area is looking like. Um, I didn't wipe anything down yet, but it is cleared off. I can get these. This is garbage. So on the shelves, I have a DVD player. Well, it's a Blu-ray player. I have to ask Matt where we need to put that. This goes right up there. So I need to put that in. Our dustpan, and then I have some weights down there. This and this. This is like memorabilia I want to keep and display. So I'm going to keep it right here for now. Uh, one of my kids made this. I'm pretty sure it was Connor and uh, I love it and I just always display it and this is a piece of blown glass from Bermuda which is absolutely beautiful it is Bermuda from the Bermuda glass blowing studio so keep that my books like I mentioned yesterday this container which we will use I'll put it somewhere a projector and dress up clothes the rest of these are empty this is my two bags of trash. This is my basket with two bags and a few things laying on top of donations. And yes, this area is still a disaster, but this area is looking so much better. We can see the floor here now. Most of the shelves are empty on this display case. Let's, we'll just ignore, ignore down there. Yeah, we just, we won't talk about down there. Okay, I decided to move upstairs into the living room and don't judge, a happy birthday banner is still up on the mantle from Madeline's birthday. But I'm stopping there for today's video. I just want to say that sometimes decluttering is, doesn't look perfect. <laughs> sometimes it's just similar to one of my tiny tidy Tuesdays that happened on this channel on Tuesday. Um, I just, it took me two days to get what I accomplished, but in the end, I think we have to look at the overall picture of what the basement will look like once I finish and I tackle all the areas. Sometimes it's just a matter of taking something and moving it to its home where it belongs, and other times it's simply to donate it or throw it in the trash. I've done both of those and I couldn't be happier. So if you're enjoying my slowly simplifying your space videos every Monday, then give this one a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and you're just stumbling upon this video for the first time. I do simplifying videos on Mondays. I do decluttering videos on Tuesdays and I throw in bonus videos here and there, day in the life, grocery hauls, miscellaneous content. But starting April 1st, we'll be doing a VEDA, which is a video every day for April. And that is where I am vlogging every day for that month. I also do a Vlogmas in Vlogtober in the fall and winter. So uh, lots of vlogs on this channel, lots of simplifying and decluttering and minimizing motivation. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell next to it so you're notified when videos are posted. Until the next video, friends, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, night, whenever you happen to be stumbling across this video and watching or staying safe. And as always, take care. We'll see you tomorrow for a tidy, tidy Tuesday. And who knows what the rest of the week will bring. <laughs> Bye everyone, thanks for watching. I'll